what's up guys angel here today come with you with another video and today we're going to be talking about king's dominion 2017 announcement so before we even get started i want to go ahead and say make sure you check out my prediction video as that definitely talked about what i thought would be coming but if you don't want to check it out i will make sure i tell you about it right now so basically what it was about i just thought that king's dominion should have a wing coaster or now you've seen a lot of stuff about hurler's rmc treatment but sadly none of that is going to be happening in 2017. in fact what king's dominion will be getting is pretty sad and it's actually happened before so without further ado king's dominion will be getting a bigger better planet snoopy once again they'll be extending and renovating the planet snoopy area once again they're going to add three new rides which are going to be a kite eating tree they also will be having the sally seaplane as well as peanuts 500 now the peanuts 500 is basically like a raceway uh the kite eating tree basically goes up and down kind of like a drop tower type of ride and the Sally Seaplane just kind of moves in 360 and basically all it does is just move around. So another thing that they're going to be having is a new season pass which will be called the Pre-K Pass for 3 to 5 year olds and that basically allows them to get in the park for free with unlimited visits, free parking, as well as you get a little more discounts just like the Gold Pass but one other thing it's only through to the fall basically till october so it doesn't go into october it just goes to october so that's how that works not only that but they also will be getting a new space event that they will be adding to the kids area as well and also they're going to be upgrading the food and beverages locations near that area also so now before i tell you my thoughts this is what a picture of where these rides and attractions will be at for next year for 2017 and uh this is basically what it looks like but next on the list are my thoughts so first things first i personally think I'm really disappointed that Kings Minion did not get another coaster or even an RMC treatment on the hurler. I pretty was uh I was pretty upset about that. But it seems that what they're gonna be doing with the uh attraction for twenty seventeen, it looks like they're going more towards the kids, I guess you say. So I don't know why, because they've already upgraded the area for planet snoopy three years ago which was the addition to the park they wanted to make it bigger and better it's actually now the largest one they have in the company so with that being said i just am not understanding why they're going more towards the kids i guess they want more money what i'm seeing there is that they want more kids to come to the park of course because i mean for them to add even more attractions in the kids area it's just like it doesn't make any sense and i personally think it's like they need a coaster now they're definitely going to need a coaster for years ahead now i'm pretty sure without a doubt we'll get a coaster by 2020 at king's million that's gotta happen there's no way that we're gonna go that long without a coaster but what's really sad is that like i said before we just didn't get any new coaster or rmc treatment on her the and what's really funny about it is how King's Minion really made it seem like they were going to give Hurler RMC right before that, uh, before their announcement that they had on the 20th of August. And that's the day I'm filming right now, not filming, but recording. And I was actually there. I went to the park for the announcement and I couldn't make it to the announcement on time, but I did get an email saying that they were going to gonna get all this stuff that's happening now that i just talked about now it's sad that like i said before they're not getting coaster but you would really think after six years how they had the intimidator you would think they definitely would bring something new to the park that was a coaster but it turns out they didn't want to do that and like i said they were hinting that they were going to do a rmc treatment on the hurler but they didn't do that so it doesn't really make sense to me but that's okay it's still good that king's minion is adding something to the park instead of nothing at all i personally think that they definitely should have got a coaster if anything a wing or a hyper or even the rmc treatment on the hurl 
but it's definitely good for the kids that they are getting something else so that does help them in other news carowinds will be getting a winterfest as well as some state fair rides which is pretty good as well also cedar point as you know mean streak will be getting the axe but do you think it really will be getting the axe let me know in the comments below if you think it'll get a rmc or gci treatment on that coaster or do you think it will be getting the axe but hopefully in 2018 we will get another coaster which would be very nice seeing that it would be then seven years since we had got a coaster but i hope you guys did like this video remember to give it a thumbs up if you did like the video give it a thumbs down if you didn't and comment and tell me in the comment section below if you did or didn't like this video also tell me what you think king's dominion should have got and your thoughts on what should have happened at king's dominion for 2017 also don't forget to follow me on instagram at ends with hot savage and i hope you guys did enjoy this video until next time this has been coastal time with angela giles and i'll see you in the next one peace